Your name is Ralph, Ralph Smith. Smith. Yeah, according to Marine Corps, Edsel Ralph Smith, <laughs> staff sergeant uh, when I got out. I was in number two. I'm older than anybody else. I turned 93 here while back. So y'all keep breathing, you'll make it. <laughs> but um, I, when I come out of number two, my mother and father moved from Little Rock from Detroit. So when I got discharged out of two, well, I came to uh, Little Rock and I didn't know anybody. Joined church, you know, and got a few acquainted, but they had a rifle company reserve, so I joined uh, that. And uh, I'd been in 47, I joined uh, that uh, reserve unit. So done real good, and then Korea hit. And uh, so went over there, and uh, I'd been a welder during this main, main time, so they put me in the headquarters company of the Marines. And uh, I, they put me in ch charge of about 50 young guys, and we was the plugs that if our line if they ever broke through the line, we went in to plug it. And we called, got called out several times, but one, one time we called out, and we were still down South Korea, and they put us on a ship, took us up to North Korea, and took us up to Chosen Reservoir. And anybody that knows anything about the Marines, they know about Chosen, Frozen Chosen. And this was, uh, November and December of, uh, well, 1950. And uh, it was cold, it was 30, I know it was 38 when I was zero. And uh, it got kind of cold in the fox, fox holes. But uh, there was two of my guys, they dug a real big fox hole and so I joined them. And uh, I, I say it happened December the 7th. I don't know what date it was, but December the 7th, everybody knows what it is. So I just say December the 7th, the uh, Chinese run over the army. Army was on the right side of Chosen Reservoir and Rangers on the left and my father was to escort the Chinese border. But the Chinese came in and they overrun the army, and then they circled us, and uh, we fought our way out. And uh, I got shot in the leg they, from a machine gun. That I was up in the back end of a dump truck looking for ammunition. I'd already run out, and several other guys. So I was up there and found the ammunition. About the time I found the ammunition, this machine gunner up on, on the mountain there, he cut in, cut down on us. And uh, so I got shot in the leg, but I got the box of ammunition and throwed it off. And uh, so that's where I got my, my, my purple, purple heart on, on the leg. And got my hands kind of messed up and my, my feet and uh, I get disability for that. And then after we come back down from uh, there, we walked out to ship down to, uh, over on the coast, I think the city was Ham Nung. Ham Nung or Hung Nam, but anyway, went back down and they, we was called out four or five times after we got back down to uh, South Korea for uh, headquarters. Marines was, and they get you, get your gear and let's go. And we'd jump in the truck, had to take us out and dump us off somewhere, and we'd be there two or three days, and then just waiting, and then they'd come pick us up. Well, they didn't beat us, and I was awful glad that because uh, we we well we hadn't had any training. In, in actual combat or none of these kids is. They were truck drivers and mechanics and other things. But anyway, that was, walking out of uh, Chosen Reservoir was the 
bad thing. These others, we would just go out and wait around until they would come pick us up, right? So my time was up in November of uh, 51, and uh, they wanted me to stay, signed over, and I, if I'd have signed over, they would have made me take sergeant. But I had a wife and a 13-year-old daughter here, Little Ross, and I decided I'd rather come home. So that was it. Did a medic look after your leg? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't need to go to the medics. Time, what time we, I got shot, and you don't bleed up there. And cold. the cold weather saved a lot of people that would have bled to death. But anyway, uh, that had, this was at something after daylight. I don't know what time, 10, maybe as late as 10 o'clock. But anyway, we stayed there still shooting to two Corsairs come in. And you know what? The Corsairs, they come in and come down the the uh, Chinese was on the other side of the railroad track, and we was out in this road behind our vehicles. But uh, anyway, the Corsair come in and down that railroad track and come up around the mountains, and uh, his wingmen followed him and come on down. And uh, I don't know if they knocked out the machine gun the first time, but anyway, they left in about five minutes. Here they come again, they dropped napalm and passed around. And so uh, we uh, started walking again. We'd been, we'd been there for several hours, but anyway. Uh, and I didn't really pay attention to my leg till that night. We got down and, uh, well, it got dark and we stopped for the night and so, I, pulled up all my, pulled up two pair of pants and two thermal underwears and two everything to get. And it, I blood about like that was all. And then when we got down to uh, the ship, they had a corpsman there uh, taking names. And so I showed him my ankle. He made a, made a note. And uh, when I got home, all I wanted to do was get a job and take care of my wife and baby girl. And so I didn't check on this, nothing. And about uh, just three or four years ago, I went up to the VA and asked them about uh, disability. And the doctor didn't want, want to give it to me. It wasn't bad enough. And so I kept on, uh, got somebody else up there. And they said, well, yeah, I said, you get disability. So I do get some disability. And then last year, I decided I'd try to get the Purple Heart. And I went to uh, French Hill's office and talked to them. And three months, about three months, they notified me. And uh, we went, they done it up at the Capitol. And this, I'm the first one that the Purple Heart was ever given at the Capitol. And now every Purple Heart is supposed to be done at the Capitol. But uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm proud of what, what little I did do. Anyway, I'm a proud Marine. Everything I've got is Marine yeah. hair. Well, this is a DAV, but I got everything I've got is, is Marine. My daughter gave me this last Christmas for uh, my birthday, and she also gave me this, <laughs> and not a mommy and either one of them. <laughs> and uh, I just feel sorry for some of these guys that's having to go through this now. That's, that's bad. But anyway, I'm doing well. Like I said, I'm 93. Mm -hmm. I had both knees replaced. My left ankle, I 
a kidney and I got pacemakers and but anyway, here they lost teeth. <laughs> but uh, for uh, for for ninety three, I'm doing real good, and my wife is eighty nine, and she's doing good. I turned ninety three here a while back, so y'all keep breathing, and you'll make it.